man. Losing is what makes you better. I took a lot of losses to get where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I took a lot of losses. So and, what and I watched the movie Spider Man, and he said, "Why do we fall, Bruce? So we can learn to pick ourselves back up." I respect the heart. I respect the integrity. I respect the morals and the principles of an individual. While you use us to communicate, consume, and entertain, we have been watching, collecting, and building. We know you. I was we were target shooting with a BB it was, that was with a BB gun and we were target shooting and a fucking bird just flew over and I, I grabbed it from my hip and went like that with a BB and fucking pegged it right in the chest and it just fell down dead. It was a robin. Oh and I was like it was like to hit a fucking bird with a single BB and fucking and then well, I go over to like hoping that it's alive and it's fucking because Robin's mate. Its mate came next to it and was trying to wake it up, and I was like, "Oh no!" I was like, I felt so fucking bad. I never in a million years thought I was gonna hit this fucking thing. It was like a moving bird, a BB gun pistol, and I was like, "Bing!" And it fucking the thing is like waving its wings over it and fucking dancing around it, and like, and I'm just like, "This is most unwelcome, new Cecil." <laughs> <laughs> I was honestly like I, I I still feel bad about that. Like you should. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna report him. Not, yeah, it was it was I was felt terrible. The deer I didn't feel bad about, but I couldn't I couldn't make that shot if you gave me ten thousand turns, you know. But it was just now I'm sad. What the fuck are you doing, Shane? Ba 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 bam! What is that? Oh! Oh! Ah! Here we go. Everybody's wanting to spiral. Uh, these SJW bitches, you are purposely trying to cancel me so you get my achievements. So you walk around with my scalp, and you're like, well, if Shane achieved this, look at what I did, because I took down Shane. These motherfuckers think they're fucking Highlanders. They think <laughs> they can go around cutting people's heads off and the quickening happens or some shit. Fucking lightning's gonna hit them, a fucking queen song's gonna light up and play, and these motherfuckers are gonna be more powerful than they were before. It's not the case. You are no more talented by canceling me. Hello, guys. It's me and PTP. That's right. This How's right. it going? It's, uh, a little bit of a dynamic, dynamics <laughs> duo. Dynamics uh, duos. If we were partners in crime or crime fighting, partners in crime fighting, let's not say we would do crime. Let's pretend. Why don't supervillains have sidekicks? What the fuck? Hang on. That just that just hit me hard. Well, I, Joker has Harley Quinn. That doesn't really count. That's that's by uh sex appeal. What are you about? Like, I mean, seriously, why don't they always have henchmen? But why didn't like Lex Luthor have a mini Luthor? Why didn't Bizarro have a mini Bizarro? Doc, Dr. Know, Evil had a mini me. Who mini me? Who's mini me? Oh, Dr. Dr. Evil. Evil. I know, I know, I know. That's my point, right? They should have all had sidekicks, like the Legion of Doom needed sidekicks. Like, who the fuck is Robin fighting? And then even if Robin, if Batman and Robin beat Joker, did it was it a fair fight because he had a sidekick? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see how this goes? It's like seriously, mm -hmm. it's like why not 
have the Legion of Doom have their own sidekick. So I, that just wow, that's mind blowing. Well, they're, missed opportunity. They're, they're probably very ill tempered. You know, it's like they you go see, through them a lot. Like maybe maybe they go through them so quickly. Like we don't even get a chance to see them on on, on in the pages. Mm. All right, we have they're some guests back here. I'm gonna bring up. Uh, uh, real quick. Uh, here we go. We got um, we got Jason here. We got Aaron. We got Clint. We got um, Jose Garcia, and we have a uh, fresher Luke. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> what up? Welcome to the show. nerds. I'm what gonna. A, what a nice small show you have here. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So here's the thing. Uh. I'm going to get this out of the air before people go. Have you heard from Mandy? No, I have not. All right. But I do have some good news. Me and Mandy had talked last week. We were supposed to do this show and uh, uh, obviously didn't happen. But we had had a talk before about the show. Some things that I, I unfortunately I'm going to address. Um, and a lot of things that... Uh, uh, some of it's kind of headache type endeavors there, the, you know, it's price for doing business, right? Um, things that are going to come your way, um, when you do a promo stream or, or, uh, a seasonal thing and, and I'm uh, just some basics. Everybody should know this. Well, come on guys. We're all new. We're not, some of us are new. Not all of us are new to this, but, uh, you know, th first off these shows, uh, they can be taxing. And they can um, take up our personal time, time away from our books, time away from working on our YouTube channels, things like that. So there had been, by our count, about four occurrences of creators who came on the show, were happy to be on the show, happy during the show, but felt the need to go kind of passive-aggressively talk crap about the show afterwards. And, you know, our DMs are kind of full or were full. I haven't talked to her lately, but uh, about being on the show. So um, it, the problem is, is if you're on the show, you're taking up a spot for somebody else. And if you, you feel the need to talk poorly about someone's channel that you, you're not entitled to be on afterwards or before whatever, uh, you know, don't take up the spot for somebody else. You know, that's just the thing. Um, there have been about four occurrences of this that have made it back to either her or me. Um, and we haven't even been doing the show all that long. So, you know, I, I understand that's going to be the price for doing business. Not everybody's going to be uh, thankful uh, or some people feel entitled to platforms. And uh, that has this has nothing to do with anybody here. And, uh, you know, I'm going to leave it at there's been four instances of it in the past. And it, it's just, uh, you know, I want everybody to just take a moment and think, like, you know, CG is a community, sure. But I've always had, and I've always stressed, it's kind of like a take a penny, leave a penny type, you know, area. You know, it's a place where you're going to get in as much, or you, you hope to get in as much or more than you put into it. You know, it is something that, you know, is a grind, Sometimes, sometimes it's frustrating. Sometimes you get the result you want. Sometimes you don't get the result. You know, but um, there's really no reason to, you know, stress people out, blowing up their DMs or campaigns that may not even exist yet. You know, it, or no reason to go up to other creators and say, well, I didn't like being on that show. Well, then why did you ask to be on the show? You know, like, you know, like it is what it is. And and one of the things I did and when me and Mandy first came up with this show, and I'm going to go back to the origins of this, is I used to do a thing called CG Showcase. And the issue I had with CG Showcase is everybody wants to come in. They want to fill it up with like, oh, you got 10 spots. There should be 10 people. First guy sells this book. That guy leaves. He does not give everybody else the respect of listening to their other books. Okay, like everybody there listen to his. So I do require everybody that comes on, stay the whole time. 
It's disrespectful to everybody else. They have to listen to your pitch. You should listen to everybody else's pitch. That has, again, nothing to do with anybody here. This is in general. This I'm speaking loud and clear to anybody with campaigns wanting to go on other people's shows. So I shut down CG Showcase because it was very problematic. Also, be respectful of terms of service of YouTube. Don't come in here with screen names. This was the issue again I had with CG Showcase. Somebody I wouldn't let in until they changed their screen name because you have to be respectful of terms of service of YouTube because that is the platform which we thrive on. And if my channel gets hurt, I can't help somebody else out. So again, these are basics. You know, um, what I want to keep with this show is kind of a tight ship, roughly around an hour. And I am going to try to make it entertaining sometimes. Why? Because nobody wants to watch YouTube that is nothing but buy my book. Okay? Like if you think it, that is a thing. I also am going to start asking people to bring up their YouTube. Like, what is your YouTube channel? Where can people follow you at? Because chances are you're only going to make X amount of sales on one of these shows. But if you can get people to go to your YouTube channel, then you have potential future sales. Everybody here should be working YouTube. It's going to grow the community. You're going to have a platform. You're going to be able to talk about other CG campaigns. It's a great thing. It is something that I feel is very much important to doing crowdfunding. Crowdfunding isn't going to be, I have a beautiful book. People are automatically going to show up and buy it. Sometimes you're going to have to get out there and talk about it. Sometimes you're going to have to have a channel. You're going to have to have your own avenues, things like that. These are just some of the things that I feel like expressing. If people feel like, hey, Shane, that's a tough that's a tough requirement to be on Pimp My Comic or come on and talk about a comic. My DMs, you don't have to hit me up to be on. It's that simple. And if people have criticisms of the show, I encourage you to go make your own promo show that then you can have CG campaigns on and promote. That is more constructive. So anyways, I want to get that out there. But we have a good show tonight. We have a lot of promising guests here. Uh, let me catch a couple of super chats. You 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 missed an opportunity for a ba -ba -ba bam. Oh, hang on, I got it beat. <laughs> I got it beat. This is the new one. <laughs> yes, yes. John Malin for four ninety nine. I'm not gay no more. I like women's women, mm -hmm. women, women. I'm glad, mm -hmm. John. I'm glad. Congratulations. <laughs> never in doubt. Never yeah. in doubt. Me too. That was um never in doubt. You know, I never you never know. Your... I say you never know. I never John, I never question your homosexuality, all right? Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean heterosexuality, my bad. <laughs> yeah, oops. <laughs> I know okay. I didn't get it right. <laughs> But Shane, you Shane, you have met his wife. He does have a real wife, right? I mean, that's not a uh I mean, don't don't mm. put me in the spot. <laughs> yeah. There's no Follow need to put me in a spot. Look, John over here overcompensating women, women, women. <laughs> it does seem like overcompensating. Yeah. Let's just say yeah. we all don't want to be lonely. Yeah. I mean, that's gotta be like a a thing, right? That's on his mind that's probably <laughs> keeping him awake at night. He is Maybe spelling it correctly. Florida. So, uh, here we got another one. Uh, 32 flavors of uh, Nick Weiser <clears throat> for $2. Thanks for getting Jason on, Shane. Well, no, thanks for Jason coming on. Uh, here we go. All right. So, so news of the week. I want to warm people up a little bit. So, if this is the first time you're watching this, and I am streaming on Rumble also, we are a group of creators that like to go out and venture our comic fairs on the internet. We have combined infused technology of uh, AOL dial-up and uh, platforms such as crowdfunding where we can process payments to do pre-orders for comics. And you just have to buy, sit at home, open up a box that will come to you in a Gemini Miller, maybe six months to a year, and relax, kick back, and read a funny, awesome escapism comical book and that's what we do over here at cg 
I have uh, fulfilled two campaigns running uh, third or fourth or something like that right now. Uh, Patrick himself has ran numerous campaigns. Um, and, uh, you know, that is a thing. Uh, Johnny Phantasm, what, what else? Uh, Ultra Star. <clears throat> Am I forgetting yeah. something, Patrick? Sleepy Hollow action figures. Sleepy Hollow action figures, all the good stuff. Clint, I know you've had a couple of campaigns, right? Seven. Superiors is my seventh campaign for Comics Gates. Right, so right, right. <clears throat> so um, the, th- the vibe here is uh, we usually are asking for your support. Most most of us are, uh, 100% of us actually. And uh, with that support, we the higher we go in these campaigns, we have things called stretch goals. That means that you guys get more bang for your dollar. The more we're able to raise, you get extra trading cards, magnets, cool stuff, stickers, things, you know, just beautiful things. So um, we're gonna go through some campaigns tonight. I hope if you like one, you will either bookmark it or absolutely just click on and buy tonight. Now, some of these are going to be on multiple platforms, I'm sure. So, um, you know, take that as you will. Um, but uh, the campaign, some, some, you know, there are dates in there. There are uh, some creators have a uh, rapport with their campaigns, uh, you know, investigate things, look at things. Uh, you see something you want. You feel like you can back it a little higher. You feel interested in the pitch or the person, the creator. Please do. Please do back at the highest you can because that does help the creator um, with those funds to be able to spend and and, uh, give you the best product they can. You know, whether that's extra pages or cooler trading cards or better paper stock, everything, all your funding is in the spirit of giving and delivering a better project. Um, so, uh, first off, I'm probably going to go in order. Jason, um, since you had a super chat for you, you want to go through your campaign? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm Jason Sandberg. I'm the writer, artist, uh, colorist, letterist for Jupiter. Jupiter's uh, 95% complete. So at the end of the campaign, it's going to go off to the printer. I imagine if you back, you're going to get the book by, uh, 4th of July. It's 40 pages full color. The base tier is only 10 bucks. So 10 bucks for a 40 page comic book. And right now, um, there's a limited, uh, uh, no prize. So basically, uh, if you back the book at $10, you're going to get a genuine non-prize not to be confused with the no prize. This is a non-prize and I am not a liar, Shane. I would never lie to your viewers. There's, there's nothing in there, but I highly mm. recommend you go check it out in the tradition of Marvel comics. It's, it's a non-prize and on the back is a villain who's telling you that even though you won the non-prize, he's going to win in the end because the best super villains trash talk. And, uh, um, and Jupiter is, um, the beginning of a hero's journey for this character. Uh, we can look at the campaign, go into more detail. Um, one thing I want to throw out there, I'm currently at, uh, $2,900. I've got a $5,000 stretch goal. Um, while we're live, if you back Jupiter while we're live, I'll have the timestamp. I'll have your backer number. You will be guaranteed to get the $5,000 stretch goal, which is a 24 point PVC laminated, uh, membership card. For the Captain Klein Bottle uh, fan club, Captain Klein Bottle is one of the characters in Jupiter. This is a fun little keepsake, and if you back during the campaign, you'll be guaranteed to uh, to get this uh, this stretch goal. And um, uh, he's an astronaut in the style of Jack Kirby. And in true 1970s fashion, the fan club is uh, sponsored by a pie company. And because he's a time traveler, the dates <laughs> on the membership card run backward in time. On the back of the uh, fan club membership card, there's a very important message. That I want to, I want everybody who watches your show to have this card. It's a very important message. The message is that um, if you are not part of the problem, you are the solution. So as you're trying to live live your life, take care of business, do your artwork, read comic books, people come up to you and they want you to sign a petition. They want you to stop CO2 or whatever. You just pull this card out and say, listen, I'm just trying to live my own life. I'm not your problem. Be more like me. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's see a little bit more of this campaign in tears. Can you share your screen? Yeah. I'll present here. Mm-hmm. And if you other guys uh, queued up, if you'll already have your campaigns, we will uh, be able to pop them straight up. So, so as the main campaigns on Indiegogo, I've also got a campaign on Kickstarter. If anyone's more comfortable with, with Kickstarter, um, 
the uh, again forty pages full color, and um, it's basically this uh, this hero's journey. This character, um, she is uh, she she's an unhappy teen. Her family has experienced a tragedy. I don't tell you immediately what the tragedy is. If you read Jupiter, you'll figure out what it is. I put some clues in there. I want to treat the audience as as, an, as intelligent people. But um, they're they've gone to a cabin to escape, get over this tragedy. In the course of their vacation, a hole in reality rips open, and a revolution in a neighboring dimension spills into into their world. There are no superheroes in her world, but she is she becomes a superhero as a result of this uh, this hole in reality. And then you're going to watch her heroic journey as she first begins to um, decide, hey, I've got the ability to go anywhere. I'm unhappy. Do I pursue fight or flight? Do I flee? Do I never have to do homework again? Do I run away from home or do I stand and fight? And if I am going to stand and fight, how is it right for me to use my powers and weaponize them first to defend myself? Then to defend my family, then to defend my hometown, then to defend my world. So this is going to be that that hero's journey, which I think is kind of missing out there. A lot of the uh, Marvel and DC books they're overcrowded. It's like uh, there's just too many superheroes. They're too similar. Mm. Um, this is a unique approach where uh, she is genuinely going to become the only superhero uh, in her world with plenty of villains coming at her. The stakes will rise, um, but that's that's the premise for this this world and this adventure. I can play a couple seconds of the uh, the trailer if you're okay with that. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Did you share audio? Uh, I should have shared. Let's give it a shot here. Oh, shoot. Let's see. Oh, my bad. Hold on a second. Uh, Yeah, you did. You did. I see you shared audio, so just hit play. If you will, just expand the box. Uh, Do what? To go full screen. Go oh, yeah. Full screen. Uh, the box in the right-hand corner there yeah. on your viewer window. There you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> Sorry, a bit new to this. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. Look at that. Crazy dinosaur. He almost took his head off. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Hmm. Really cool animation. So I did all the animation for this, and it uses artwork uh, from the book. So if you like the that artwork really and great. the animation, and and, and the uh, the full trailer is three minutes. I'm not going to play the whole thing because yeah, uh, you know, out of respect for everybody else. But I do want to skip ahead because there's a there's a bit at the end. It's about thirty seconds. I think everybody here is going to really enjoy it. So with your permission, I'm going to skip oh, yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. All right. It's like all a little right. so, movie. Yep. Mm -hmm. So this next bit, this this is this bit right here was a lot of fun to do, and it speaks to a lot about what we're doing in Comics Gate and the the plight of the reader. So check it out. That's like a really nice retro style, like, uh, but it looks new at the same time. Like, it's a little weird, like, fusion thing yeah, going I, on. Yeah, I, I actually want to see a animated series like that, by the way. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I so, so I in my DNA is uh, Jack Kirby, um, okay. uh, Oops, you know, some of some modern comics, yep, yeah, and and Mobius and uh, Zab Comics, and that's all kind of in my DNA. And 
um, there's there's uh, sections of the book where my characters in in a contemporary uh, in a contemporary art style are reading comic books from the 70s, and uh, they're kind of inspired by the the heroes of of, uh, of Jack Kirby, and uh, so I'll draw in that style. So there's some pages where it'll look like it's a comic within a comic, and then there's other vignettes that that are uh, just like one page strips, which I think uh, could have you know if I'd been sitting around with the guys at Zap Comics and the in, in a coffee shop, it would have been like, what would I have tried, tried to do to get into Zap Comics? So there's some one page um, uh, strips in there that are kind of surrealist. There's one that's kind of fun. I'm going to play because it's kind of a crowd favorite. So just bear with me. I'll go back here and play this here. <laughs> All right. So if you've taken any edibles, uh, prepare yourself. <laughs> All right. Sweet. That was a lot of fun to do. Hmm. <laughs> I like a lot of little mini animations here. Uh, we got some. Um, you want to scroll the campaign a little bit? Uh, sure. We got John <laughs> Malin in here for one ninety nine. <laughs> women, women, women. Uh, John's trying to keep something off his mind and keep reminding himself <laughs> of women. So let me help John for a second. <laughs> All right, John. Hopefully that'll that's all I can do for you, buddy. So Hope so Jason, through. I'm 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 checking out your, your campaign real quick and I'm yeah, and I'm trying to I'm I'm interested in you know what what perk is like like the the juicy perk to like to go for, like like the one that, that everyone should be getting right now. I, I would say for sure I, I think the best one is the Jovian tier because for that okay, tier you get the you get the comic book, you get the genuine non prize. You get um, a postcard portfolio, which is seven paintings that I did um, in the style of Jack Kirby. And I got a little animation clip. Actually, let me scroll down and show that postcard portfolio uh, bit here. All right, here. So I'm going to just play this real quick. So that's the postcard portfolio. It's an add-on on the Jovian uh, tier, which is 30 bucks. And for that, again, you get the, uh, let me just go over here. You get the, uh, I apologize. I'm not too good at scrolling on the shared screen here. Uh, there's the, there's the Jovian tier right there. So on that tier, you get the comic book, you get the non-prize and you get the postcard portfolio. And then you also get a uh, campaign medallion, which is oh. uh, solid. Solid metal. Hmm. Mm hmm. Solid metal. So Solid not, metal. Not telling you what type of metal, but it looks it looks metal. gold. It looks gold, but don't bite it. <laughs> can I pawn um, it? Can you I pawn can, it? Well, no, you're gonna want to keep it and cherish it forever. You do not want to pawn it. Um, this page right here, this is a sample of, of the, the most of the art style, most of the art style in the book looks like this. It's what happens in, in the, in the contemporary world. And then the pages that look a little more like Jack Kirby ish. Um, those are the comics within the comics. Um, and then, um, this obviously everybody loves the dinosaur crashing into the castle. That's the, that's, that's in the universe where there's that revolution that spills into, 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 um, uh, her world. Right. So I, I kind of drew, I tried to draw like a uh, 1970s Jambu Shima Conan, but I wanted a psychedelic, uh, psychedelic color, uh, uh scheme. Hmm. So, and then there's again, some pages where there were uh, some page, the story within the story, there's some Jack Kirby goodness. And then there's uh one page strips, uh, kind of in the style of Zab comics. So that animated hmm. clip, uh, was actually from the comic. Uh, it was a one page strip, uh, you can see right here. So. You know, the biggest crime I've ever committed in the world of comics is I, I have none of the John Bushima Conan stuff. Like, I have mm -hmm. a Silver Surfer stuff, a lot of his other comics, but I, I yeah, have they, none of his Conan stuff. The, so, the essential Silver Surfer is amazing. Yeah, no, the, his Silver Surfer stuff is some of my favorite, but uh, 
I, I don't know like why I, everybody says it's his best stuff i have zero if you're if you're ever in Minnesota and you need to crash on a couch, you can hang out at my place. I've got all the uh, the John Buscema Conan omnibuses here. So nice. open invitation if you ever need to uh, crash and do some reading. Mm. 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 If I'm ever driving through Minnesota, I'll make sure. <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> hey, you got that Conan for me in a couch? So there's uh, <laughs> so there's there's uh, you, you you've had you've had worse offers. So there's there's uh, this is the speed bolt here at 10 bucks. You get the comic book and the non prize um, at the um, twenty dollar level. You get that postcard portfolio, the comic book and the non prize. And then the thirty dollar level, you get that uh, campaign medallion. And so far, um, uh, twenty five people have have claimed that I've got seventy five left, I think. So um, just a, a fantastic little keepsake. Yeah. That's uh, looking pretty good. So how long has this campaign been up? Um, I'm on day day 21. Um, hmm. So I've got day, yeah, day 21. So it's going to be wrapping up uh, pretty, pretty soon. Or I'll be hitting the first end of the first 30 uh, next week sometime. Uh, and what you passed your uh, funding goal, right? Yeah. Yeah. I said it, I said it at $500. I'm a big fan of not having fear, not having stress. I want to have fun. When you look at the non prize, when you look at, at the, the captain Klein bottle fan club membership card, I'm having fun. Right. So I wanted to be stress-free. I didn't want to stress about a goal. Obviously I want to reach as many people as possible, get this in as many hands as possible, but I'm a new creator. Um, I, I've done comics in the past in the nineties, black and whites and so forth distributed the diamond and all that. But in the, uh, in the comic skate world and the crowdfunding world, I'm new. So I priced it at $10. I set my goal at 500. I didn't want any stress. I just want to have fun and I want the people reading it to have fun as well. So I, uh, certainly I wanted to go over 500, but as a goal, I just want to get this, get this out there. Hmm. Um, so what were some of the books that you'd put in diamond? I'm just curious. Yeah, so I did Jupiter in the 1990s as a um, as a uh, black and white indie, ran nine issues, and uh, and and so um, and it was critically acclaimed. But you know, I just had no marketing budget. I worked with Diamond. Uh, we did promo packs where I would we'd say, hey, um, this is kind of similar to Eight Ball. Let's send it to let's send it put together a promo pack with free comics and, and and like a letter and so forth. Send it to the top stores that Diamond distributes to that sell Eight Ball. And we, we, so we put together a promo pack, send it out, nothing. Wouldn't move the needle. My sales never went down, but my sales wouldn't go up. They were just kind of stalled up. So the people that bought Jupiter in the 90s kept buying it. But it was such a weird book, I couldn't find a, I couldn't find a toehold and to get with uh, any other, uh, I couldn't expand the, my, uh, my market share. Couldn't, couldn't get the sales to rise. So I kind of hit pause on it. Uh, Diamond asked me to just reboot with a new number one. And I said, well, I'm getting mixed signals from the market. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. So I pursued painting. I exhibited in Manhattan and, and in, in the, in the Midwest, but I always loved comics and, and I, and I kept reading them and stayed connected to it. So when I saw you and Ethan Van Skyver and so forth, uh, like 2019, 2020, hmm. that's what I said, you know what? I, I appreciate that. that you put, you said when you saw me, then Ethan, I no. appreciate <laughs> that. You know, let me, uh, I wouldn't move you up, but you're already up there, but uh, yeah. No, I no, I do it. I I read I read this I read the Superman Earth One stuff, and oh. I was I was blown away. And uh, so when you when you when you came over, it was it was uh that 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 was you know what, I mean, Jason, you sound like a regular to me. I'm gonna put you in some rooms. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, so anyway, um, I, you know, I've taken about a good block of time here, but I encourage everybody take a look at Jupiter, and then just a reminder, sir, if you wouldn't mind, would you make me go full screen? Uh, sure. So this is the uh, Captain Klein Bottle Fan Club membership card. This is the five thousand dollars stretch goal. Campaign's at like two thousand nine hundred dollars right now. I've got over a week to go. I'm pretty sure we're gonna hit five thousand. But because you're watching Shane Davis um, today, if you back during the campaign, I will know your backer number, and I will guarantee backstop that you will get this Captain Klein Bottle Fan Club membership card with a very important message on the back: words to live by. If you're not part of the problem, you are the solution. So live your mm -hmm. life, do what you want to do, do what makes you happy, and don't listen to what the uh, blue-haired land whales tell you. And then mm -hmm. um, again, uh, <laughs> this is my Captain Client, my uh, Jack Kirby-inspired character. With regards to this stretch goal, I've already manufactured them. I've got them right here. I really, 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 really want to get this out there. But if we don't have five thousand, and you back during my show, you are guaranteed to get this into your into your hands. Put in your wallet, put in your purse, words to live by. Thank you. I thought you were going to say you were going to throw them in the ocean and we're going to get stuck in like. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to throw these motherfuckers in the garbage. Like, 
<laughs> That's what I do with all my stretch goals. I don't know what you guys do with my unused. I, I'm not. I, I'm not a fan of burning the overprint. I, I think that's sacrilege. I didn't uh, say forgive burn me, John. Them. I them in the ocean. Like let the sea life choke on them. I mean, they can't read. Cards I have to make so many, and not everybody gets one. I mean, just let the sea turtle sort it out. Hmm. So Jupiter, you know, everybody, thank you. Right. Please go check that out. Uh, yeah, really who's next? Who's next on deck? Uh, who's next? Uh, I'll take next. When you say it like that. When you say it like that. Like, yeah. Who's next? Uh, I'm, gonna, good. I'm gonna take a commercial <laughs> break though. But you get cool. ready. You get ready. All right. Um, I I'm not I really ever am I. A, I told you so, guy. But <laughs> there's been this whole <laughs> diet. I told you so. Yeah. There's been this whole diet fiasco behind between John and Ethan. I don't know if you know what I'm beers, talking about. Beers all carbs. Beers all carbs. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. saw the seven pounds video. That was uh, prescient, man. You saw it coming. I <laughs> called it. Totally. I dead. wanted to go to that bakery with him, though. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. That's when it started. I'm going to step on the scale pretty soon, Shane, and I'm going to break down. Uh, I'm going to have lost another pound and a half uh, this morning. When I step on that scale, that's what it's going to say. And that's because I'm eating the stuff that Graham, uh, that, uh, Graham Nolan recommends. And that's it. I've been very good on my diet. Good. I'm drinking water nonstop. Uh, I will have lost probably 22 or 23 pounds today, as of today. Well, I'm sure I'm confident. I was I, I was thinking about you dieting, and I was like, you I, you do have to give yourself a cheat day, because uh, no, no, you do, you do, you, you do. don't, you don't, yeah, you do, because you'll eventually break the diet because you're gonna wish you had a hamburger or something. And I, Tree I Goblin says, "Wow, look how thin he is." Thanks, Tree Goblin, and then he said, "LOL, LOL." Wait a second, you were being sarcastic, <laughs> Shane. You don't you don't break your diet, Shane. No, one day a week won't matter if you're yes, working it will. out. No, it won't. Shane, you no, reintroduce won't. sugar and cheeseburgers <laughs> and all that stuff to no. your palate, and you're going to crave it. It's not a matter of nutrition. It's a matter of break. You know what I'm looking at this whole time? I'm actually playing Fortnite the whole time I'm talking to him. <laughs> 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 My TV's on the wall. Like, have you ever seen me Even looking up? I'm playing you're, oh, no, will, but, you got to have a cheat day from your no, society. But you, you, that's the point. You will break. You will break oh, your don't the chain. I don't I don't need to do that, Shane. I'm okay. I'm <laughs> I'm fine the way this is going. I I understand my weight loss journey is gonna take me one year and six months. That's oh. what I'm expecting. <laughs> I'm not expecting any more from Are myself. Are you actually using your Peloton? No, I don't. I lift weights. Playing video. I don't oh. use my Peloton. I'm actually <laughs> I removed my gay uh clothing rack here. There's no more gay clothing. I'll be wearing t shirts. Hmm. All that stuff has to go. I'm, I'm moving out. my weight bench back down here instead of from the garage right down into my office. Yes. Uh, it's going to be great. And I, I like lifting weights. I'm looking forward to doing it every single day, Shane, right in your face. Right, right in your face. face. Right in your face. Because I know you don't want me to succeed. What? Yeah. I, you don't want me to succeed. Yeah, You're like, you can have some donuts once a well, week. Even what listen the to fuck them. are you talking about? No, no you're not. Like, I'm not. You're not even listening to my... So yeah. the, the thing about a cheat day is it keeps you on the diet because eventually you're going to go, when you break you, your diet, you're going to break hard. You're going to go crazy. You're going to go crazy. You're going to go crazy. <laughs> so what is that? That is a month and a half later. Yeah. It's like you, it's like, you know, you know, the laws of nature and you're trying to warn him, but the, the hubris yeah. of man is, is yeah. preventing him from listening to you. Right. Um, so yeah. six weeks later, Something. Shane, what happened, man? How you doing? Sorry, I'm drunk right now. I'm yeah, you can tell. <laughs> how's that I got diet $22 going? How's that diet go, going? How, how's killing these calories? It's on pause. It's fine. My diet is good. This See, is Michael good. knows. He goes, it's on pause because Michael knows that those beers have tons of carbohydrates in it. Yeah. Now, when I say <laughs> that to Ethan, it, it he never thought there's carbohydrates in beer. I can tell. See, <laughs> Michael knew. He said it's on pause because he's drinking a bunch of beer. Not only are there carbs, but you can consume so many without even realizing it, right? Because yeah, it's all liquid. Dude, 
tons yeah. of carbs yeah. in beer. More carbs in beer than than most breads. This is where we're at right now. As you can see, I'm keeping track. Twenty two dollars. Right. My you diet's know how many okay. carbohydrates are in a beer? <laughs> yeah, I do. You might as well just been eating bread for like a month. That's a- <laughs> Shane, tomorrow morning I'm gonna go to the gym. I'll go. Yeah, I've heard that before. Now look at Phil. Now shaking his hand like he agrees with me. He disagreed with me before, Uh, and now Phil's like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah." Now, 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 now the gig's up. Now Phil's gonna (laughs) side with me. He was saying, "Don't listen to him before," but now listen to me when it's too late. Yeah. How many days have you broken your diet? Three. Three. Right. That's why I told you to take a cheat day one time a week. You, you, I, but you I haven't now, that and train, I, now you're a train off the tracks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm fine, what do you think? I'm, a, I'm, I can't stop drinking beers. I can. No, stop I'm talking them. about the diet. You're supposed to take one day, one cheat day, and you laughed at me about that. And I say, like, no, one cheat day. Whatever you eat that one day, your body, your metabolism would be so high from the six days of dieting, it won't matter. Once you yeah. throw three cheat days at it, your body can't. <laughs> burn through that yeah, like, i don't care i'm right. gonna be okay you understand right. I, it doesn't matter tomorrow we begin all right so he doesn't it's care like, it's, it's like a it's junkie hard for me to stop yeah. drinking or to stop eating i can stop nothing. anytime i you want know, fine. Yeah, yeah, don't right. worry about it don't worry about me i'm, I'm gonna a pound back now he doesn't he, he but he doesn't care and he's not gained a pound back he's okay yeah he, now, he, now right. when i call the number then it's not okay he yeah. thinks he thinks he's right. doing the when's beer the but the beer's doing, doing him hmm. a week ago 245 right. Ooh. from 290 what you start at 45 i might be at 247 now shane oh no Shane, tomorrow I might step on this. Just so you know, two pounds is like a bowel movement. Like, you yeah. know, like that's that's where my head went. I'm like, eh, you're not two pounds. Let's go. 247. <laughs> oh, fucking no. I'll I'd be right, I'll be right back. To 252. What? You think I'm at 252 right now? After you process these beers, probably. <laughs> well, if even if I were. How long does that take? Seven pounds. <laughs> Seven pounds, Shane. You really think so? Four hours? Well, three days of not dieting and throw loading up on carbs after right, being... I gotta get another beer because I'm twenty two dollars away from drinking another one. <laughs> Play this video. He's happy too. <laughs> so Shane, Shane, this is like a after school special for middle aged guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. <laughs> on the scale, I'm up seven pounds. Seven pounds. <laughs> <laughs> just the look at his face classic oh man no i'm sitting here doing math invisible math in my head like i'm counting the calories in the beer i'm thinking and like eh, carry the one he's yeah, seven sitting, pounds and he's, he's sitting all day was, and... losing weight gained back seven lost 45 gained back seven <clears throat> probably because I was eating junk food for a week and uh, even ice cream. <laughs> I had a nice ice cream con. It was yeah. good. Uh, but listen, you know, we don't quit. Might be a little bit of a setback, but you know what? We Cheat take week. our setbacks and we push forward. Heading to the gym right now. And uh, we're going <laughs> to... We gained it easily. We're going to take it off just as easily. <laughs> Accountability. <laughs> I believe in you, journey he called it his weight loss journey and i i believe in him (laughs) yeah he'll get there you know i think i think when people when 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 guys hit maybe age 30 they should be forced to watch this (laughs) yeah uh i didn't start really gaining weight until my 40s so i'm getting like my 40s body i think but i started dieting this uh this year i went I, i cut back on a lot of stuff and it's really made all the difference, you know. Yeah, John Malin bragging in the chat two forty four over here <laughs> winning. What's the number you got to get to two forty? Hmm. John, you could just not eat for one day and you would be two forty. Yeah, go like, take a dive. Thirty nine. Fond memories of two forty four. Go watch some Voltron. <laughs> Aaron, do yeah, you have yeah. kids? Yes, I do. Okay, that right there. That's that's when it starts to catch up on you because. They've always got like leftover food on their plate, and you're like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll clean the, I'll clean up their plate, and then, yeah. and then well, you, the broken the sleep. Food. 
I spent yep. money on that food, damn it. <laughs> no, here's the thing. You can still drink. John, no way, 210. 210 is going to be no. too thin for you. You're, you're going to look weird. Hmm. Well, I thought he's going to shave at the end just to get that extra couple of hours. like a Holocaust victim at 210. <laughs> oh, poor D- here's the thing, 225. Though, you- you can drink and lose weight, but you have to drink like vodka, basically. Vodka. Yeah, vodka. You, you can't drink anything with carbohydrates in it. Like, and beer has all the yeast in it and stuff, yep. right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The best thing to drink out in a club, like the best thing to drink out in a club, would be vodka and soda water. Yeah. <clears throat> Any drinks with vodka, basically, and you can get like I used to do Red Bull vodkas, like that was like a monster. But I get sugar free Red Bull <laughs> or, or just get a screwdriver, whatever. I mean, I would pick sugar over carbohydrates. And the problem is, is once you pull carbohydrates out of your diet, the second you reintroduce them, your body's gonna try to process it as fat as quick as possible because you've been starving it of it. So yeah. it will. Uh, actually work against you well eventually you kind of want to still have carbohydrates in your you want, diet just you want more my opinion and again everybody's gonna tell me i'm wrong put them <laughs> in the morning carbs in the morning that way you can process them through the day and nothing but proteins at night hmm. and a, a cheat day is good too because you know you have a, you know you go you're good and then you have like a donut or something like that or or like deep dish pizza the next day your body's going what the hell did you do what did you <laughs> yeah. do so it's good because it reminds you to, to that. I mean, the stuff might taste good, but it, it, there's wear and tear. It's causing wear and tear on your on you. Well, there's psycho- and- right, but there's also the psych the psychological part of it. Like uh, it'll keep you from going crazy because mm-hmm. uh, it, you do get a reward for six days of hard work, you know, yeah. or whatever. Like you, you know, you do you don't go ape shit because when you break a diet it, it usually breaks pretty hard like and, and like yeah. i had said like your metabolism's jacked for six days but one day it'll your metabolism's already moving mm-hmm. now the other problem with alcohol though is it slows down your metabolism even if it is vodka so there is that like alcohol will slow down your metabolism but anyways let's talk about some campaigns nice uh commercial break there <laughs> We yeah. got uh, along with it. <laughs> Immortal Rising now. Oh, um, thank you. Who, who's the artist on this? Uh, this is Jose Garcia. Uh, hey, Jose. What up? Jose. Thanks for showing up, Jose. I appreciate it. So uh, I guess I guess just to start off with Immortal Rising is you take the dark fantasy of Castlevania uh, and meet that with the epic fantasy of Final Fantasy. And that's the 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 feel of Immortal Rising. So, uh, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna play the uh, the trailer. It's a minute long. Yeah, yeah. Just a second. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. So, yes, that's uh, that's art by Jose, story by me, um, created by me, uh, story and everything, all that. Uh, been really fun. Um, it's 44 pages of, uh, of Jose Garcia's work, including or actually with uh, the covers as well. So plenty of art um, with Jose doing... I don't know how to describe it. Like, there's nothing else in fantasy right now like this at all. So, uh, as you can see from his work, if you're familiar with him at all, you know, just the storyboard layouts and uh, 
and uh, I don't know, look at these colors. Like, that's not normal fantasy colors. It's just got a very <laughs> dark kind of vibe, you know? Hmm. Uh, How many pages kind of is through. this? What's that? How many pages is this? It is, uh, well, it's two stories. So uh, the first story is 34 pages, and the second story is 10. Uh, the main story centers around this group here. You've got uh, five characters that uh, they're strangers. They're kind of thrown together unexpectedly to uh, fight in, t uh, in a war that they have no idea what's going on uh, in a land, you know, full full of monsters. So the the core of the story really is like a, a survival story. So not only do they have to figure out what the hell is going on uh, and and uh, defend and fight against monsters, uh, they also have to try to come to grips with their th with each other, like. Uh, each other's differences and stuff. So, um, you know, there's there's a, a lot of um, a lot of adjustment between the group for sure. Um, now, with uh, excuse me, so this here, this here is the character design art. This is I put these into trading cards. Uh, this is from Steve Whitehead. Uh, we see here we've got uh, the two different sets of four cards each. Uh, and right now I'm running the early bird, uh, I guess the early bird special of this is a uh, additional trading card so that you'll get nine cards all together as, um, you know, you get a full sheet of trading cards. So it's kind of cool for, for all of the completists out there. I just backed. I'm back to 61. Nice. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Yeah. So uh, here is just a little rundown if you want to go to the campaign page and check it out. Uh, this is uh, Meet the Heroes. These are the five uh, main uh, heroes on the main story. And uh, just a little rundown of character traits of them, you know, some of their, their flaws and, uh, and uh, things that people will like, hopefully. <laughs> Here's the early bird bonus card. This is also as a poster. This is the one that is done by Steve Whitehead. Uh, and I think I'm only going to run this just for the first 30 days. Originally, I was just going to do it two weeks, but I think I want to do it for the first 30 days on Indiegogo. And then, um, cause I, I plan on moving it to fund my comic after the 30 days on, on Gogo, uh, and in Indiegogo hmm. instead of running it through on in demand. I'm not sure. I'm still, I may just do both. So, but, uh, also if you go to the page, you could check out just an outline of the, the overall story. You got the calling. That's the one, uh, you know, the calling transports you, uh, to the foreign world of Terra. Right. And, um, it's the, it's, uh, there on Terra where our party meets and, uh, tries to figure out what they're doing now on Terra. This is a world that is ruled by the undead Lords of Dracula. <laughs> and, um, there's a, outside of that is an existential threat. An evil empire is invading and, uh, it's, it's a bit, uh, much, you know, it's epic fantasy. So there are multiple layers to the story. Um, and Aaron, what 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 uh what what perk do you suggest people grab and if they want to just kind of get everything they need? Well, that's great you asked. So we've got the early bird, everything immortal. That'll have uh, two physical copies of the book. That'll have a, a PDF version, digital version, uh, also a PDF version of the uh, sketch storyboard of the thirty-four page story. So if you you know if you ever wanted to have uh, sketch sketches of Jose's work. You know, you can take it, you can color it, you can finish the lines on it, or just see how he approached, you know, each each panel, really. Um, also, in this tier or this perk, you've got uh, two different uh, posters. You have the cover uh, by Jose as a poster, as well as uh, the, the, the same as the uh, early bird card. So it's uh, Steve Whitehead work and, you know, just as, just as beautiful. And uh, as well as the two different sets of four cards, also done by St Steve Whitehead. So, yeah, yep. quite a bit to uh, offer for sure. So, so Jose Garcia, the, when I look at your work, it's got the, this these sweeping gestures. It reminds me of like Dan Mora. Just beautiful artwork. Just uh, just gr great composition and uh, great great color palette. Just look, it looks just it looks just beautiful. Thanks a yeah. lot, man. I really love Dan Mora's work. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, Jose, how are you I'm doing? Okay. I haven't talked to you for a long time. How are you yeah. doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, what up, uh, PTP, Shane? It's been a minute. Uh, well, I have a, um, I have a baby, so I've been aw away for a while. 
So oh, there you go. Um, yeah. I've been mostly uh, working on stuff. So I just deliver uh, Lumina Box Volume One, and I'm working on delivering oh, yeah. uh, Lumina Box Volume oh, Two. Oh, yeah. Jose, where where are you from? Um, I'm from Mexico. Hey, dude, Mexico dude, City, dude, right? dude, dude, dude. I, I got a question, Jose. You mm-hmm. you guys you guys yeah. like jalapenos, right? Do I like what? <laughs> jalapenos. The, hang on, these things. I'm eating a taco bowl, the jalapenos. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> jalapenos. You like jalapenos, right? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the fuck They're are you talking good. about? Yeah, yeah. The jalapenos yeah. were really good. Yeah, we call them jalapenos. Uh, so, so they, they, they're pre- uh, when I heard it, was like, what the hell? <laughs> jalapenos? Yeah, uh, no, hey, we uh, call them uh, jalapenos here. I mean, I won't hold that against you. It's all right. <laughs> Jose, I, I'm, I'm going to see uh, Strike Anywhere here, come here in a minute. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm also going to see um, uh, Bouncing Souls soon, too. Oh, nice. Are you guys related to the Filipinos? <laughs> We might as well. I don't know why not. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what are you, what are you oh, talking about? Bouncing souls. That that's my uh, that's my dude right there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen them play a bunch of times. I've even got to hang out with them a couple of times as well. They're they're nice guys. Nice. Oh, awesome. Look at that. Sorry. Oh yeah, this part of the comic I really like. It's the uh, the ten the ten page story. Uh, we really went crazy with all these signs because these guys are kind of guts. And yes. uh, they're pretty fun to draw. So, <laughs> and there is a lot of uh, action um, action pages. So I just went nuts with the with the godly armors, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. So you have the uh, the level one characters on the main story, and you have mm-hmm. the uh, level ninety nine uh, characters on the side story. So uh, yeah. everything's pretty uh, pretty fun, you know. Did you know you guys started making uh, Jose? Did you guys know you people? Your people started making potato potato chips, like those jalapeno chips. You guys think of everything. Oh yeah, they're super popular, man. Uh, too bad they were uh, discontinued for a while because they were getting people uh, very sick. You guys had sick. a jalapeno shortage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we yeah. got them back. Even though, even though now they are kind of illegal, but uh, we still got them. Make making them Wait, sick, like oh, plugging them up. Which part's illegal? The people packing the chips or the jalapenos? <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, give you the squirts, you know. Yeah. So just a highlight of the team that wor- has worked on it over the past five years. So um, now there, there is actually, uh, this is kind of extra for anybody who is a completionist or just wants to add a little extra. Uh, for a uh, uh, hundred bucks is the first version of it. It's limited, uh, won't be reprinted at all. This was like my first go at it because I didn't meet Jose until after I had the first book finished. So uh, then once like I met him and we were talking, he did the, uh, the, the 10 page story for me and it was like, you know, fell in love with it. And I'm like, I got to get him to do the rest of it. So uh, I wanted to offer yeah. this as well, just for anybody who wants the, the full the full uh, Monty. <laughs> yeah, why not? So yeah, it yeah, looks fun. And this is this is not the only one that we have done. Actually, uh, we have uh, issue two already, like ninety nine percent finished as well. So uh, that's yep. just waiting to go. Like uh, once this is once I've completed this uh, campaign, it'll go to the printer. And then from the printer, I will ship it to my uh, fulfillment guy, Critical Blast. And uh, yeah, everybody nice. should get it pretty quickly after that. So uh, there, there won't be long waits or, you know, late books or whatever. So it's already it's already done. All I have to do is finish the layout and when I send it to the printer. So we should be good. Yeah, guys, well, if you back uh, now, you will be funding issue three. So we can start yeah. uh, working right now. So you yeah, will already have issue one. Uh, issue two, it's ninety nine percent done, and yeah, we want to start issue three. Yeah, anything outside of cost is going to Jose to help him buy diapers. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> jeez, please, no pressure, Jose. Jose, watch out for dad bod. Now that you got the baby, watch out for dad bod. <laughs> yeah, we did talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, look at this. I mean, it's there's nothing else like it in in fantasy. You know, if you want to see Jose just having fun. In the fantasy setting, I mean, this is exactly what you want. Yeah, this is crazy. Like, like, I don't know what I don't know what you're selling me, but I'm buying it. 
<laughs> yep. No, it's beautiful. Beautiful book. Yeah. Thanks yep. a lot. <clears throat> I swallow, and it is, it's a five-man team, you know, that five-man band <laughs> trope. You know, it's a team uh, of young people trying to figure out the world and each other, really. And, uh, you know, man versus nature kind of deal. But they're like... Are they, are, they're are, are they trying to figure out their sexuality? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess uh, the only sexuality you know of is maybe a couple of the characters because, you know, he's into the chick. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not like... Well, you know, I'm a tranny, so you should, yeah, no, it's nothing like that. All Although right. the redhead could be one. I don't know. I guess we never really delved into that. Do you think I, it would be accepted mainstream if she was uh, actually a dude? I don't know. <laughs> but she's not. So. I looked at this book before I, I came on. It looks hot fire. I mean, for sure. Uh, Jose, your stuff's getting better. Thanks. You know. Yeah, that that samurai shot is pretty good. I like that Castlevania shot right there. Oh yeah. Oh thanks. Yeah, I really love doing all this uh, kind of DMD monsters, the zombies, all that stuff. Uh, that's my jam, man. Mm -hmm. I really love to do this <laughs> stuff and fantasy stuff. Uh, I really love it. I always wanted to jump into a into a story with high fantasy. You know, uh, I mean, I, I like DMD and stuff. So uh, any chance to jump on a cool story, cool designs, cool monsters. Uh, you know, I'm in. You know, and one of the one of the funnest parts of uh, writing for him is just like like with the gods. You know, I can give him and I, you know, a, a setting and uh, of well, the gods are flying here or doing this thing, and it's just detail everything. You know, it, it's insane what he gets into, and uh, I don't know. I just I haven't seen anything as as quite as detailed as he gets into it. Let me show you an example. Like, for instance, these these airships here. <laughs> Look yeah. at that. That's gorgeous, you yeah. know? Get in there, Jose. Uh, Jose, if we can back, rewind a little bit. You said cool designs, cool monsters. Can you say that again? Um, yeah. I really like to do cool designs, cool monsters. I don't know. <laughs> you know, and all the D&D said... stuff, zombies, uh, werewolves, yeah. orcs, all that stuff. Yes. Yeah. Goblins. Goblins, yeah. Yeah, yep. see like this. Like, come on. We might I'll put a hop in your monster just for you, Shane. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I like a jalapeno monster. I know. I wrote, so people are like, you're gonna make that into something like a print or some kind of a uh, you know um t-shirt or something. And I think I might. I have to figure something out, that's for sure. Some you stickers get as cool. a as a back tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's like a yeah, nine man. hour job right there. Don't be a pussy. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shit! He called me a pussy if I don't. Uh, if you want to punish your your uh, your ink, uh, you know your tattoo artist, go ahead, man. If you really really <laughs> hate him. Yeah. Shit. We'll be living together as long as that one would take. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. So. Really yeah, good layout. Fun. So back now, guys. Yes, yeah, please absolutely. do. My, well, well, the link should be down phone. below in the description, but uh, feel free to put the links in the chat. I made it, you know, real lean. Uh, you can click through, and all of the add-ons are a la carte. So if you don't see them, you know, like my perks, I've only got a few. Uh, those are just the main ones. And then if you really just want everything, hundred dollars, which uh, I believe it, it saves overall uh, compared to if you bought them a la carte. So we have a, uh, a perk with the previous artist, right? So you can uh, check yes. both uh, check both pages against uh, one another, so yeah, you can see how it that. improved. Uh, you can see how uh, yeah. Aaron's um, writing style also improved. So that's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, the first version. That's you know, you know you guys for the real fans. What doesn't improve is jalapenos because they're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> a little burning ring of fire. Um, How well, they, I like uh, when raw. Is this ASMR? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, hope, I, I, I hope they collaborate with you whenever you go to the toilet, man, because they can be pretty, <laughs> you know, they can be pretty brutal. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got toilets in Mexico? 
Yep. <laughs> I, I swear, I thought you guys just shit in the street for some reason. I, they always say you can't drink water in Mexico. I was no, like, why? It's like because they shit in the street. And I was like, yeah, oh, no, you're, 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 you're talking you're, about California, yeah, you're, you're, man. <laughs> that is San Francisco. Yeah, that, that is San Francisco. I, yeah. I'm sorry. Go to the poop map. They've got, they've got proof. <laughs> That's right. They got the app to a, where where to avoid oh, the. Right. No, they're, <laughs> they're, mixed, they're right. That's God, Indian. God bless them. <laughs> All right, I mixed, San I mixed that up with so you. Know Indian. where not to step in shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as long as you don't get jumped by uh, homeless schizophrenics, you'll be all right. Oh, yeah. we got a wild black cherry heart in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw her lurking about. Yeah. Hmm. Stalking. I wouldn't say lurking. It's more stalking about. <clears throat> lurking. Whatever. She's in the comics. Uh, believe it or not, she is in the comics. Uh, here we go. So, guys, please go check out this it. campaign. Uh, how many more days do you have left? Uh, I think another two weeks, like fifteen days or something like that, on mm. the first thirty. So, yep. Yeah. And there we're uh, less than a thousand away. So, please help us get to that cross uh, cross that line. I'd really appreciate it. Patrick, I mean, in record. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right. Now, our next guest needs no introduction. You probably know this man from uh, Comicscape, from uh, things like uh, Pirate Queens, correct, Clint? Yes. Slave Girl. Is that mm, another that one? Too. Yeah. All and he's coming in here with some hot fire, which yeah. uh, I, I know all too much about with the Jalapenos, and that is uh, 90s hot fire, the Superiors. Yes. Now, this is a superior man with a superior book. It's all in the name. But uh, got characters look like they're ready for some daring do, some action, some capes, some gritting teeth, laser eyes, boobs. Clint, you always have boobs in your books. What's up? <laughs> I'm trying to give the fan what they want. That's what Comic Skate's all about. We're about listening to the fan and... Uh... You know, there hasn't, we haven't done, strangely enough, we haven't done, uh, there have been some superhero comics in Comicscape, but there hasn't been a ton of superhero yeah. comics in Hang Comicscape. Hang on. Yep. One second. I, I really messed up. I got a super chat here. I got to read. No um, problem. Pete Callen, for $2, please show boobs. <laughs> there you go. All right. Better voice. <laughs> for reference at some point. Yep. All right, Pete. We do give people what they want around here. That is what that's on the that's like the manifesto, right? Uh, all right, here we go. The superiors will let people know what this is about. Now, this has uh, only been out like what four or five days? Yeah, launch, launched last Friday um, and uh, had right. a great opening weekend. Yep, great opening weekend. And uh, this is my, I mean, as much. Uh, huge giant boobs and titties that I draw. I am a superhero fan first and foremost. So I was actually a little uh, nervous about launching this book because it's it's got hot babes in it, but it's it's a straightforward superhero story. This is kind of my uh, love letter to the super teams of that we grew up on, Justice League and the Avengers, uh, the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, all that kind of stuff. So I do uh, get... Uh, there are homage covers in here, but it is a straightforward uh, superhero book. The All right. superiors are the greatest. Hold on. Pause yeah. it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. We're going to clear this up once and for all. Some of us know one another. Some of us don't. Is it homage or homage? I go with homage. <laughs> homage. I say homage. I say I've heard people too. say homage, but I think it's homage because it's from the French. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. Yes. And it's, so and it's Travis. And, and just so we know, it's Travis Charest. And it's Travis yes, Charest, it. not it's Travis Charest. It's, it's, like, no, it's Travis It's not Travis Charest. Travis Charest. <laughs> and I do. I, here, I'll I'll just uh, go right to. Uh, oops. Oh, did that just pull it off the screen? No, it's. Oh, you still see it? Okay. Yep. Uh, I love Travis Shere. 
No. So this is my – and actually, my my uh, big brute character in the back, he kind of ended up looking a little bit Malin-esque uh, art-wise with those – the way I did the pupils, I thought, but – No, it's the lack of eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> the lack of eyebrows. So uh, this I just put up today, Yellow Flash Guy, has been awesome, and he's uh, been promoting the crap out of my book. So I did a, a variant cover for him. Uh, but the first thing I should mention is you will need a direct link to get to my book on Indiegogo, unfortunately. Um, it is what not is does not appear in the comic section. You can't find it in the search engine. What? Yeah. That's a thing? Um, yeah. yeah. So you, you will need yeah. the direct link to find my book. You can also find my book by uh, looking up my profile and then clicking on my campaigns. And it does show up at the top of my campaign. So I just want to let everybody know if you go looking for my book. Look. Yep. All right. So yep. it's jalapeno. Jalapen <laughs> jalapeno. Jalapeno, John. It's spelt with a J, not an H. Yeah. John. Right. Everybody knows that. Duh. Clint, right. I'm back at 126. Yeah, I had to go through the I had I had to go through your uh, Twitter link. Okay. Well, I'm back in 27. So, yep. nice. You know, Thank you, whatever. guys. I just want to so, make sure like, people can like, find it. Like, like real quick, I just want to say I, I backed all the projects tonight. They looked fantastic. Oh, wow. I mean, like really great oh. work, gentlemen. Thanks uh, a lot, man. You know. Thank you. And uh, and and I just want to say, just as you're backing it, make sure you get that 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 tip jar at zero. You don't you don't yeah. want to yeah. Yeah. for fifteen no ten tips. bucks yeah. because all the campaigns that have have that that tip jar on bling right now. Uh, so just keep an eye on that. But that's the, that's the cover I grabbed right there. I grabbed that cover right there. The, this one has been popular. I I do have a great love of Jim Lee and X Men uh, 268 is uh, one of my favorite comics of all time. The flashback with Captain was, was that his first comic? He did one before that. Um, I'm trying to think. It was the one where. Uh, there was the Asian dude with the long hair that looked really good, and the two German twin brother and sisters were in it. But I can't think of the number. Hmm. Uh, someone, I'm taxing my memory. Someone in the but chat yeah. will get it. Yep. Uh, Pat, uh, Dale's in okay. here. Dale, you got the link. He gets Thanks, Dale. Uh, <laughs> Mandy Dale, what up, man? <laughs> Yeah, he goes, up? Mandy is fine. I'm and now he means like fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> we all agree with that. Fine, you know? yeah, Texas Mofo is asking me, have, have I asked what, what what package do you recommend? Uh so I do have the feature package over here. I, I wanted to make all of the covers as cool as free as possible so people would have a hard time choosing. Yeah. Uh, so I do have the superiors number one, all four variants for a hundred bucks. That is the fe featured package. You will there get you the uh, the homage, homage, homage. to me. <laughs> and you also, uh, John Byrne, like this. You know, this is my love letter to the, all the comics I grew up on. John Byrne, I love John Byrne. How do you guys say it, Jose, in the land of Mexico? <laughs> How do you say? Do we say homage? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like ho, like ho mesh. It's not Jomash. You put the ho, you put capital. Yeah, with the ho. ho. <laughs> yeah. ho I'm fine with ho mesh. Ho mesh. Yeah, our our vocals tend to be inverted, like uh, you know, uh, uh, or a um, in in English is a, and to us is a. So uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, they're all inverted, so it's really hard to translate a lot of stuff. So I, I just I, I really like, like a... hey, hang on, Jose. I didn't really care about your native tongue. I was just I was hoping shit. he was going to say Jomaj. <laughs> Jomaj, yeah, Jomaj, <laughs> Jomaj. Hey, straight from the pronunciation is important. <laughs> But Clint, I do like the I I like the costume designs. Um, they 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 work together as a group, but they're they're very they're very distinctive, and they I think they're great. And this is obviously influenced by all the superhero comics, super teams, the Avengers, the Justice League, and the backdrop is the multiverse. So, like I call this kind of my little corner of the multiverse, where these com these heroes might remind you of characters you remember but they're far superior ha, ha, ha. That's my little ha, nice but yeah they are yeah. the superiors and you must obey them 
but uh yeah just having fun with like this this i haven't done this in a while but kind of like old school like kind of 60s avengers style the floating heads the you know just kind of everything with the logo um i kind of get a kick out of doing that kind of stuff and hopefully you know uh fans and backers will like it too so i've been thinking about like next rex campaign i do because i'm taking mine down here in the, the next week but i'm thinking about doing like a jack kirby homage it is fun drawing it is fun studying those old styles yeah so so shane on my on my campaign i've got a hundred dollar tier where i will draw your character in the style of jack kirby just planting that as a seed for a variant cover or whatever always be selling i see what you did there Uh, yeah yeah that's right you i I, I had to bring it up Closer no, 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 no. That's that's actually a good little stick because it's like you know uh, I I wonder what Johnny Phantasm would look like you know if Jack Kirby drew it. You know you know Jason where to find can make me. that happen for me. You know where to find me. Here comes yeah. John Malin off the top turnbuckle for four nine and nine. It is my belief that Mandy was murdered, possibly by a loved one. It's a working theory. Hmm. I'll let you know when my investigation concludes. John, John Malin yeah, True always. Crime Podcast. Check John it out always. on Spotify. We need, to, we, need to get, John. we need to get Rebecca Mommy on it to start covering yeah. it. You know? Yeah, John. Ba, 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 bam. Sounds like another com. Shit. 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 <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> That's why I think of that, John. <laughs> mhm. So look, Mandy proving wrong. That's what John Malin PI is the new comic book. Somebody do it. <laughs> you know, John Malin. I think isn't Michigan part of the serial killer corridor? I mean, <laughs> a little I bit. Could be wrong. So, 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 so Try like, in there. Clint, I, I like how you put the kitchen sink there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw that too. Huh. Yeah, it's a it's a double page spread, and like I said, the multiverse is a big factor in the story. So this guy's he he's the alternate reality version of of the main character Titan, and this one's on. uh, is that a fucking alligator man standing next to the light pole? <laughs> it's a Walmart Hulk. Walmart, Walmart Hulk. <laughs> Yeah, there's I've got a lot of Easter eggs in the background. There's some over on the right. There's like a Doc Ock arm coming out, and then there's an actual octopus arm coming out. But I, I don't again when you put double page spreads in the Indiegogo pages, <laughs> it just makes them look tiny, which sucks. So kind of had to do oh. some editing. But yeah, this is kind of like the drunk kind of lost his way alternate reality version of our our main hero and. Hmm. He's kind of given up on life and is just kind of crisscrossing the multiverse. And he kind of he lands in this 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 reality that's kind of just ending one of their big crisis crossovers. So all these uh, all these heroes are kind of like on their way home and just kind of dicking around afterwards, kind of. So mm. some mm. kind of different stuff going on here. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can tell you're having fun. I think oh, it yeah. looks like a no, great this, book. It's it, this book's been a blast for me. Um, that's kind of why I love Comics Gate so much, is because it allows me to do this kind of stuff, kind of tell the stories that I would have always wanted to tell. So, uh, yeah, it's just uh, the main story is the bad, uh, the main bad guy is an alternate reality version of uh, uh of Titan, and he's kind of crisscrossing the galaxy, the universe the multiverse and killing all the other versions of him. Uh, like, so oh, cool. Yeah. So it's kind of like the one, right? With, the, yeah, the one Jet little Lee. Jet Li there. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and I came up with the idea before the Jet Li movie. I've been working on this book. <laughs> I've been working on the superiors for like a good 20 years. And there's sure. actually a book uh, in here in the rewards, the early visions book where you can get a bunch of my old art, a bunch of my early tries at attempting to do this book. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, different styles that I went through. I like, you know, mimicking and homaging style. So uh, a lot of early art from this book that uh, you can get with the early visions book. But yeah, I've been working on this one for a while. So it's kind of, it's a really kinda cool program to kind of bring it to fruition. Yeah. 
And uh, just some more art of uh, the superiors facing off against this evil Titan. They've even got their, you know, they've got, it's not Avengers Assemble, but, you know, Superior Strike is, is what they got. <laughs> and, and it's like, there is some violence. It's like, that's l- completely legally distinct, by the way, guys. You see what yes, he did there? exactly. <laughs> yeah. Again, my own, my own little corner of the multiverse. So, but uh, yeah, they kind of they kind of getting their asses handed to him, and you know this is their strongest hero, and he's kind of scared, and it's I like, know. yeah. So the speedster thinks think he's going to get revenge, but yeah, there's a there's a <laughs> level of like, oh, yeah, you're not you're not uh, not uh, helping the matter, so. All right, so I gave uh, Mommy a wrench, and Mommy can time people out now. So if you guys get naughty, <laughs> Mommy's coming after you. <laughs> so the so chat's getting rowdy already. Matt, Matt G for $2, where's Black Cherry's wrench? You're fired. She's got it one. She's got one. Now she's going to discipline all of you sadists out there. <laughs> yeah, step on me. Yeah, she probably, I wonder about that. I got to ask her. No, about she would do it. That's John a cool page. She, she'd, she'd walk all over you. John's bringing up that serial killers is a uh, code for people that can eat a bowl of cereal really quick. <laughs> uh, here we go. Look at this. This is uh. So I I assume this guy is the number one superhero, right? The most powerful, overpowered he, guy. Uh, he is winning, and they are losing. And uh, yeah, it's kind of he kind of cuts through them like a. Uh, hot knife through butter so uh and this is this is the stuff i want to show you this isn't the end of the story so there's a lot more to this but you know get the book and then uh you can see what happens right there there. i wanted to show everybody the the level of action and detail and uh can you read universe and and the the thing i'm as proudest of as a writer is my name for the headquarters for the superiors (laughs) nice it's the superiority complex, and uh, that's that's you know awesome. that's as good as I'm going to get as a writer. So. <laughs> nice, nice, well done. Yeah. So again, uh, more uh, more art from the art book. I'm going to have a who's who book in there, kind of the old oh, school classic cool. DC, yeah. Marvel well, Universe well, stuff. I've got a lot of characters, so uh, with the who's who's book, you'll be able to like get a page of each of the characters with artwork in a little write-up of their origins, their powers, their background, that kind of stuff. So just kind of, kind of fun stuff we grew up on is comic book collectors and, Mm -hmm. you know, George Perez's cover of the Justice League Fighting Crime Syndicate is a huge influence Mm -hmm. on the the type of story I like to tell. I'm a huge fan of the Crime Syndicate, Squadron Supreme, uh, the Authority, all those alternate reality versions of characters that we're kind of familiar with. So this is (laughs) <laughs> you know, this is my definitely my version of that, and uh, just kind of a fun superhero story with a lot of action. And if you love the multiverse and alternate realities and all that kind of all those kind of classic comic book tropes, uh, this comic book is packed with them. So, a little mm-hmm. something for all the comic book fans, superhero fans. Marvel and DC really aren't cutting it when they're uh, when it's coming to superheroes anymore, and. Uh, so I figured I'd just do my own version and do it better than them. And that's kind of what CG is all about. So not if, to do my own horn, but here you go. If people yeah. get in on this, there's going to be more. I yeah, that's, more books that's like a this. real It's a real goal is I would love to draw I like more that superiors panel, how, and more. Yep. How you crop that panel where her boob is like really <laughs> getting close to his mouth. I, mean, I know. It's <laughs> weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's all about it's all about panel framing and put your characters in like certain positions to draw the eye and yeah if he's like not careful or tit might just end up right in his mouth. It's like he got caught in the champagne room or something. Yeah, <laughs> he shouldn't have that look on his face though. He shouldn't oh, be so no. scared. My wife. Oh no, a giant tit in my mouth. <laughs> That's not what I paid fifty bucks to get in here for. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah. <sighs> what. Oh. Oh no, this giant guy hit the me right in the balls. Wow, he did punch him in the balls. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and it still didn't stop him. When a giant guy I mean, punches you in the so balls, big. you think that would slow you down. So <laughs> yeah. it, does, it gives you a power level check. 
So I see you have a speedster in this. Um, no, he, well, I did have a speedster in it. Ah, never too soon. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rim shot. Yeah, I mean, really, rims. like, it, it, no. if this is your opening scenes here, uh, the book must be pretty intense. Oh, it's like... Yeah. Go back up. Go back up. Go five back or six up. pages of this, and then it's a lot of talking heads. You got to bring that character back. <laughs> right. gonna be a, you got to bring that character back, but he's got to be like on a skateboard or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's Welcome like, to the party, pal. Kind of, kind of taped together, legs. but just, no arms or legs, legs, but just roll them in on the skateboard. <laughs> like like uh, like Eddie like Eddie Murphy in uh, Training Places. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> a l- little help here. Skeety, his new, whose new name is Skeety. He'll be the sidekick that you were talking about earlier. Super yeah. Skeety. Yeah. Uh, so, this looks great. So uh, hit refresh. Let's see where you're at. Um, well, and I think I think I just went over nine thousand earlier. Nice. While everybody was talking, somebody backed the book uh, uh, just after we. Oh, and I got another backer already. So nine thousand ninety. With 112 Ooh. backers, and yeah, it just launched on Friday, so I'm uh, super stoked. People are kind of digging this. This is my jam, yeah, so it's always nice to see that people kind of are in the same into the same stuff you are. Yeah, and without making it creepy. <laughs> but yeah, super stoked. Uh, thanks to everybody who's backed, and just basically kind of making the rounds to get the word out. Uh, you'd mentioned earlier. Um, I am trying to work my uh, YouTube channel more. I did a live ink draw on Sunday. Um, everybody, you got a ton of people in the chat right now. Uh, tomorrow at uh, 8 p.m. Central Time, I'm going to have Eric Ninkowski on my channel. Mm-hmm. Eric is a, a fantastic artist if you haven't seen him yet. He's got a book out right now called uh, Shadow Century Origins. And uh, he's working with um, the guys that do Kozor, uh, the, um, is it the Barton Brothers? And that book is gorgeous. So if you guys uh, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, just look up Clint Alinsky on YouTube and it'll pop up. But yeah, 8 p.m. tomorrow, we're going to uh, show some of Eric's book. And it's in its last week, too. So uh, really awesome book that uh, should get a lot more attention to it. So yeah there you go. sounds good and, and shane like great great advice at the beginning of the show for everyone to kind of do something on youtube you know it's just like even if you're doing like an hour once a week on a scheduled time you know as long as you you know if you do that for a year you know what i'm saying it's like if you just stay in a schedule as long as you're doing something uh no. you know it's like it helps so much yeah um, well, if, I, if I would like if you want I'm to sorry, talk about a comic book, if you want to, you know, review a toy or do anything like that, you know, like do it like one time a week for like an hour or two yeah. and just do that for a year and you'll see results. Yeah, that's exactly what I've done. Uh, I just got my anniversary last month for having my show for a year or my channel. And uh, I focus on like tabletop creators, uh, comic book, you know, a lot of CG, probably over 50 or 60 CG interviews. Uh, as well as Iron Age guys. I don't know if anybody's familiar with the Iron Age uh, community. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in talking with them or listening to me interview them, and I also do commentary as well. Uh, Every Friday, I tend to invite like three or four people on, and we just kind of uh, shoot the shit, stitch and bitch, and um, look at indie stuff. So uh, you can find me at uh, Immortal Rising Comic Book. You got to type that all in, otherwise you get some video game stuff. So. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you to Bearwolf. I just got a new subscriber to my YouTube channel, so you might be hey, in the chat right hey now. now. There you so, go. Nice, nice. Know. We're growing. I appreciate We're growing. that. Um, are you, are any of you guys in the dating game anymore? I mean, thankfully, no. My yeah, wife's out of town anybody? this week, so a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let me help you out, Clint. I think yes. I got you a, a big fish here. <laughs> I think I got you a big old fish right over here, Clint. Oh, uh, oh, he's in uh, your game. Uh, here we go. All right. Here we go. Uh, Clint, uh, let's read her profile. <laughs> well, we just thought I'd pass this on in case any of you guys are interested. Toxic man, baby. Did, thank did you. She's got reptile that. eyes, first of all. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so her name is Kristen. She's 25. She's a dancer. High school education. Yeah. She is a woman. Ballet. 
valet you know, allegedly yeah, these things. She's less than five, <laughs> five miles away, you know, within arm's reach. About me, no games. Where were all the good men? Question mark. I am a single mom to a baby boy who is my world. Hmm. All right. The father is out of our life. I am ready to settle down with a nice, hard working man with a good job. I AKA, bet. I'm a yeah. gold digger. Um, you yeah. must be white or Hispanic and not be racist. <laughs> Uh, well, no druggies. <laughs> oh, no along. druggies. I am now a good Christian girl and looking to be a good wife. So, Clint, what do you think? <laughs> you know, <laughs> everybody, everybody's lonely out there. So you're just kind of hoping to find that special person. But yeah, she had me. Know, I don't know that like, the baby Clint, in the foreground is going to like sell her profile as much as she, she's hoping. She, but she, at least she's she honest. Had me a dancer I was in. Yeah. Clint, you could fix her. You I'm, fix a, her. I'm assuming she's limber, and that's really all I'm looking for. The rest all of it will just kind of work what? itself out. You say all limber? Limber. You know, she's a dancer, so she's kind of, I'm sure she's flexible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that dancer body. Whew. You got to have your priorities. Like, yeah, you got a kid already. Yeah, whatever. Who, who? What chick out there at the bar doesn't? But, you know, flexibility is, like, highly <laughs> underrated. Not just the schedule, you know. No. Somebody said the there, big there, dog. There, there are such things as as lazy strippers. So, uh, what's well, this yeah. <laughs> big dog got through the gate. What does that mean? It is, and it's you always find out after the fact, and it's like, oh man, that money's down the drain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cold Amber. Fish. They said she had Amber Heard eyes. Uh, I like, I don't I know like to means. sit. I like to sit and watch the room for oh, a yeah, little bit. Did. You can kind of tell which chicks are going to work you. You know. Just don't well, go yeah, in there and yeah, spend yeah. your money right away. Wow, yeah. Clint. Look at the expertise coming on yeah. the over here. Uh, 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 we're all, we all know what we're talking about, right? It's not just me. Uh, I guess. Yeah, no. We, we, <laughs> we're I, I mean, I'm, I, you're in this on your own, Clint. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't do know. that anymore. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Shane's just driving the boat. You we did have control. somebody I'm making it out weird. just now. Um, so let me uh, bring up their campaign. Um, Fresher Luke was in here. Uh, oh, yeah. Campaign. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Uh, looks like it's up on Fun My Comics is the link he's got. So let me bring this up. I don't know much about it because he left. He's not in here to talk about it. But uh, I can read a little bit from the campaign page. This is Forsaken Gods, Volume 1. I'm pretty sure we he ran this on Indiegogo because I remember being on a... Um, I think I, I own this upstairs, actually. I, I backed this. So uh, nice. it looks like... I guess it's the same... I, I don't know. The same project that from before. But it's <laughs> up now on... Because um, it says Volume 1. I bought Volume yeah. 1. Uh, so it's up now on Fund My Comics, I guess. Uh, eleven percent funded, eleven days to go. Uh, I'm assuming it's the same thing. I have no idea. We got T-shirts, we got books, we got uh characters with flaming skulls. Yeah. We uh, yeah. No, I remember this page. I have this book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool book. Um, good layouts. I think he has a background in animation, if I remember from previous streams. So uh, if you guys will, please go check that out. Um, we got some muscle women. Um, that's kind of like a black cherry type girl there. All right. Whatever. Yeah, who's, who, who, who's talking some shit in the chat, by the way, talking about like she's going to show us how to go to strip clubs the right way. Give me a break. <laughs> oh, like she knows. Yeah, like she knows. Yeah, like she's going to uh, teach a man how to put dollars in a thong. I think not. <laughs> Tell her to go yeah, try to step I, on herself. Like, like, like right. the best trick that you can do as a man in a club like that is not do that. Hmm. Yeah, make them want that money. Yeah, like see? want it. Write that down, gentlemen. Make them work for it. Act like you're just there because uh, you're, you're, you're 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 more you're I don't know not interested. Because you're like, because you're bored, and it seemed like a, a stupid thing to do. And you're like, "What am I doing here? This is stupid." She says she's a I'm a connoisseur. Mm. <laughs> is that a dinosaur? What does that mean? <sighs> a, connoisseur, a connoisseur is. 
<laughs> I've only really ever accidentally ended up at strip club, so like I really don't know what I'm doing. Holy shit! I taught pole dancing for ten years. LOL. Damn. To who? Sure. Fire firemen? Like, I mean, <laughs> who did you teach pole dancing to? Who? You expect me to believe that? I'm only for American dancing. None of this Polish stuff. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't, I don't want to speak for anybody, but most of the guys don't come there for the actual pole dancing. Whoa, they're coming there. <laughs> yeah, Jose, how do you pronounce that, connoisseur? That's not not true, Clint. I did go. see a girl pole dance one time in California that I I think my heart skipped a beat. Oh, okay. Like she was really really good at it. Like her <laughs> whole routine. <laughs> The Damn. whole thing, she was doing the hang upside down thing, and she she wasn't like it was really she was really she was really athletic. Good at it. She was yeah. very athletic, very good at it, and it was like wow, okay. It is impressive when you see that. Yeah, I mean, I think if a girl really gets into it, like you know, I have picks. All right, well, that sounds like baller shit, Black Cherry. Yeah. <laughs> it should, should it be an Olympic sport, though? Something for Friday. It should it's, be. I, it should I, be I more of an it, Olympic man. sport than some of the shit they got on. Like, Same. excuse me, I'm enjoying my buffet. Will you please leave me and my chicken wings alone? Yeah. <laughs> you remember that uh, that they had breakfast at that one strip club, uh, Smiles? Yeah, yeah, Smiles, mm-hmm. too. Yeah, Smiles, too. Uh, okay, good, the good. like, you... You you lived in Dover for a while, didn't you? Yeah. Did it did it did it did did, did smiles too exist when, when you were down in, in, in up in New Jersey? For where? Clint, like didn't you live in New Jersey for a little while? No, no, no. Minnesota, man. Oh, 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 oh. I thought I thought I thought you lived in New Jersey. I'm sorry. Well, I know Shane. No, did. no, yeah, I would have loved I would have loved to have checked it out, but yeah. Uh no, we've got just little hole in the wall strip clubs out yeah. here in the country yeah, was, and uh, they're different. Let's just say, <laughs> there's there's there, there, there's no breakfast buffets. I bet. No, no, you don't. Yeah, you, there's no pancakes and bacon, unfortunately. Because man, I could go for that. <laughs> no, it's just uh, whiskey and beer and drunk guys. Mm-hmm. All right, so guys, if you will, please go check out Forsaken Gods. Also, we have Shane Davis's Inglorious Rex. Um, this is my campaign. It's coming down in uh, seven days. Let me hit refresh over here and get the counter right. Seven days, two hundred thirty-three thousand nine hundred sixty-six dollars. One backer away, pretty much from hitting two hundred and thirty-four thousand dollars. Now, this campaign's coming down on our website, NineLivesComics.com, and Indiegogo, all at the same time. It's uh, curtains closed for Inglorious Rex. Um, if you you guys have had months to go over here back this, I am in full production on the book. And uh, not just it, but some other stuff. So I got to clear my plate. Got to take this campaign down. Get your yeah. orders in while you can. We do have a site exclusive cover mm-hmm. that is exclusive to uh, NineLivesComics.com. If you did sign up for the campaign, though, you do have to go get those secret tiers over there on Indiegogo. Uh, if you want that lenticular card for the sign up, if you want like uh, whatever benefits that came with those. All those secret tiers uh, over there at um, Indiegogo. Uh, so you have to back it there. We do have a subscription box that does have a miniature figure of th- 232. If you guys are into Warhammer figures or painting mm-hmm. stuff, uh, miniatures, it's a really detailed sculpt. Uh, let me show you. Wrong one. Button. Uh, it's a very <laughs> detailed sculpt. Um, I'm sure you guys uh, will would love to be able to uh, put together. Uh, th- now they come unpainted. This is a painted version of them. Um, here is a uh, unpainted. You can see the details on this thing. Pretty oh, yeah. sweet. Two, three, two. There. Yeah. Uh, we have some lightning bolts you can put on the fist if you do want. Uh, we have a Delkion uh, line artwork cover that you can only get in the box also in the box besides the mini and that you get a lenticular fight poster it will flip back and forth between 232 and razor versus uh alex and anatomic because that is the big uh the call out in this issue is anatomic calling out alex for uh what she says is he's a fake king he will not be able Hmm. to defend the city he cannot pilot 232 she saw it. Everybody else saw it. They just see the wind, but she sees the lack 
of technique, uh, the lack of control, the lack of uh, <laughs> guidance that it takes to uh, be a protector of the city. And she challenges him for the crown. Uh, we do have a site, uh, I'm sorry, a 24-hour cover that is no longer there. You can get in the sub subscription box, though. We have a, a, a connecting cover. It, this will connect to the previous Inglorious Rex cover by Kenneth nice. Brokeport to make a nice, nice panoramic scene. Kenneth is a beast, so please go yeah. check that out. We have an Irene, Irene Strakowski cover also. And uh, we have those, I think, as a C, as a tier, and you might get something with those. I don't don't quote me on that, but I think you may get something extra if you back those together. I'm not sure though. Uh, yes, you get two trading cards if you get a two pack with those uh, variant covers. So uh, if you're into the trading cards, um, you will get those covers as trading cards. Um, if if uh, extra cards is always a good thing. And of course, all that stuff will be in the subscription box. All stretch goals are unlocked based off the number off our website. Meaning if we hit 230, uh, whatever here, say 235 or say 240, if we get to 240, everything we unlock at 240 will go to everybody at Indiegogo. So this is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not budging that. Um, we did make our own crowdfunded website. I'm looking at my ne next stretch goal, exclusive billing trading card. Man. I can't tell you which one that is. We're already getting a vile trading card. I can't tell you what the villain trading card is, but we are getting a vile trading card. Um, working hard on the book. Let me see. I'll show some artwork. Patrick, uh, while I pull up some artwork, why don't you tell people about your sign up? I don't know if you want to pull it up. I have it right here. Uh, oh, sure. So uh, we are going to print um, with Johnny Phantasm 93 uh, probably by this Friday or this coming Monday. So everyone that's backed it, uh, I appreciate it so much. If you missed out, we are going to be overprinting slightly. Um, so we're going to have a short campaign, uh, over there on Kickstarter, um, very limited amount. I'm talking about like, like 25 quantities, you know, like very small amount. Um, I'm going to have some artwork available as well. Um, but also, uh, we're going to have a 24 hour cover, um, that's going to be over there. And then the big surprise is we're also going to have, uh, Zorro and the Phantasm Cult of Hollywood Hills, 1955. That's a Zorro story that I've been working on for a while. It, it's kind of involved in the uh, Johnny Phantasm universe. So I figured I'd, I'd tack it on to here. And if people wanted to go ahead and grab it, uh, it's going to be a black and white story uh, written and illustrated by myself. Uh, just a one and done. Like we're not doing an ongoing series of Zorro or anything like that. I just want to do my Zorro story. Um, so cool. that's going to be launching in about uh, two weeks. Sign up here. Um, if you signed up for the, uh, the Zorro campaign over on IGG, um, I got your email, so you'll definitely get your, 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 your poker chip, your coin. Um, but we're going to be doing this all over here at Kickstarter in about two weeks, uh, sign up. So, you know, exactly when we launch. Yep. There you go. And, uh, speaking of signups, uh, let me, I'm, I'm going to get, I do have one going for something else. I'm not really trying to promote it too, too much. But uh, if you go to ninelifescomics.com and I'm doing the signups here rather than Indiegogo, but if you scroll down, there is a signup page. It's loading, sorry. Um, sharing windows is slowing down my internet for some reason, but there is a window to click on. It'll take you to an extend lot signup. This is a campaign I'm going to launch late summer. Um, go ahead and sign up for it now, though. We're going to probably do discounts. I do exclusive trading cards, something cool for signups. We haven't really figured this out, but this is something that we've been working on for years while working on Starlight Cats and Glorious Rex 1. We weren't just making two books. We were working on three. Extend is my video game type of, uh, I don't know what I would call it, like Tron meets Spider-Man. If you can mash those two things together, that is what yeah. Extend is. So definitely go check that out. If you will, go sign up, get on that sign up list and uh be a part of the campaign you know help get the word out there i see mods already putting the link out in this stream so i want to bring it up i keep forgetting to bring it up because right now i'm focused on rex i'm going to show some artwork real quick on and english rex did did ascend go through image for a while yes so okay. this is kind of like um altering it i basically long story short with extend 
is a lot when i came to comic skate a lot of people were like um you can't you can't print my work anymore even though i had, i had paid them their fees and image uh also quit printing extend the minute i came over and they threw out the rest of what i wouldn't take they threw they basically pulped them um in the warehouse and it was this whole shame shame comic skate thing even though i had <clears> whole, like pro every like they were kind of like you know pro my book pro me when i was there and these people even though the logo designer of uh the letter um had did a logo for starlight cats and he i paid him for it and everything and he's like you can't use that logo either so basically what happened is all these people i'd paid for logos lettering coloring all of this they're all dming me the minute i'm over here on youtube and in the ethan stream or whatever and they're all saying you can't print my work now legally i can't now legally i can uh, there's no question about that the problem is is like they think they're taking my book away from me they think they can dispute it or they want to dispute it whatever but in their heads they think they're actually taking my comic book that i created mm -hmm away from me so i i you know and i i've thought about it and i think even ethan had made uh comments he's like you should just print their work and say fuck them i'm like yeah i'll uh, let's go a different way what if they're completely replaceable what if they yeah. really didn't matter to begin with yeah sure idea. what if um i just uh do it without them so we've been going through for the last couple of years and working on this in the background and nice. reworking it and uh spending a lot more time on it um it'll be completely re-lettered there i'm actually going in and doctoring up faces and changing certain things but i'm actually drawing some new pages for it too there'll also be a new comic added with it a supplemental that actually shows other players in the video game world aspect of it mm -hmm. um yanzi has been re-inking it um at 99 of it's completely penciled already so nice. this has just been kind of like a background project where I'll go in and noodle with stuff and she'll rework stuff. And, oh, wow. and we've it's, just been. It's amazing what you can, when you, when you don't have people hassling, you've got time. It's amazing. You don't have a deadline. It's just, it's amazing what you're able to do. I just, I'm blown away. This is just amazing. Yeah. It's been a background project in between my other stuff. So like if for some reason, say Yandi's waiting <clears> on me, <throat> she'll just work on this or whatever or if i'm waiting on like books to be printed i'll go in and start drawing or redrawing heads there's a lot of the head like i redrew this head it's not very noticeable i don't want it to look completely different but i want it i mm -hmm. there are things i'm unhappy with i'm going back and changing so uh the sign ups live this will be uh, undoubtedly a spike campaign um because i have all the dms from all the creators telling me i can't print this again or i can't print their work so i have quotes <laughs> from ign and and people talking about how great the book is i mean the b all these shill comic media is, sites that are like that you know, is, that gonna, man. Is, is that gonna be back matter in the book you should, it's gonna, like, no it's gonna print, be print their it's gonna little be, it's gonna be upfront matter in the trailer <laughs> like, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome awesome yeah, so uh, I'm going to be putting this out uh, late summer. So if you guys want, please go sign up. Uh, help us get the word out on the street. This will be something later this year that we're definitely doing. Um, it's very fun. Uh, it's about a group of kids that go into a virtual reality game, but when they log out, the game starts following them into the real world hmm. with real-life consequences. As one of the players is like is overpowered, and uh they have two out of three of these players are gonna have to team up to get to him and shut him down before he gets xp and grows in the real world because if they die in the real world they will not respawn hmm. so um it's a bit of a race against time and uh they're trying to save the world all in one comic so please go check this out um but this is like my i don't know kind of spider-man type guyver type on teenage pa overpowered teenager character so fun stuff um looks gorgeous yeah yeah it does it's coming along a lot better this time around i i really like i mean we've had like years to be noodling at this so mm -hmm. like this is like something we've spent way too much time on <laughs> so um but like i said it was like a background project behind starlight cats and inglorious rex so 
yeah. I need to get that out. Um, and uh, but right now, guys, we're closing out in Glorious Rex 2. So please, you know, if you haven't, go back. I, I don't complain later on when it's not there anymore. I know it's gonna happen. Somebody's gonna be like, I didn't back it. You only gave me six months to back it. It's like I know. <laughs> like I only gave you like six months to back it. But uh yeah. here's the spread I've been working on from Inglorious Rex. I finished up Yanzi's in the middle of inking it now. Wow. So uh, Jeez. you know, book two is a lot of them outside the dome uh fighting herds of vile. These are the creatures that have destroyed the world and killed most of humanity. They eat everything living and uh, poop toxins at the same time, making the world completely unlivable. And this is why Rexes are made, is to uh, draw these things off the dome and decimate them and call them, if you will, to just, you know, keep the city safe enough to uh, live in. It's a yeah. parable for our times. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It is. Um, a very small group under the dome just trying to keep a little small corner of the earth to themselves. And having to fight herds and herds of uh, SJWs, Earth. whatever. Earth. Yeah, you gotta Earth. say it right. It's Earth. 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 <laughs> Earth. Welcome to Earth, motherfucker. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's fun. It's a lot of work, though. Um, but that's the type of comics I'm here trying to make. I'm trying to make the best comics I can uh, with b because I have the best backers. I have the best customers. I have the best people here. We all respawn through Jesus Christ, Shane. Thank you, John. <laughs> <laughs> that is true we will all respawn through the power of christ <laughs> the power of christ will respawn you john mm. you guys will hit like subscribe ring the bell for notification please follow these creators onto their channels back these books please mods if you're a mod here pump out these links take a week say hey did uh pimp my comics did i put the link out for some of these campaigns i should I should let people know about superiors. I should let people know about um, Jose Garcia's awesome new book with um, Aaron here and uh, Jupiter, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Right. And uh, which, honestly, that book uh, has such a cool modern retro vibe. I, and that's, that, that's weird to say, but it is modern and retro all in one. Absolutely. I just want to say uh, I'm like I'm less than 200 away from funding. So if anybody has a little um, inkling for some great high fantasy, come on. There you go. Check it out. You know it's good. It's good work. Good. Any any heroes out there? We got any juggernauts out there? Come on, we need a whale. <laughs> we need a whale. Juggernaut. 200. <laughs> 200. We are bidding. LOL. Put it all out there. What do you mean, JAV? Put all the watt out there. All right, so I'm going to play some outros. Uh, you guys have been... Uh... Shane, can I say something? Yeah. All right, so bear with me. This is a message to the chat. In, in the days and weeks to come, as Shane's complaining about how he had me on, he can't wash the stink off of having me on, don't flood right. my DMs. Don't message me. Just right. like let, let that be his personal thoughts. Um, so that, that's, to, that's to the chat. Um, mm -hmm. But but Shane, thank you so much for having me on, and and it was great to meet Cl uh, Clint and Aaron in person. Uh, obviously, we follow each other on Twitter, but uh, tremendously, um, thank you, thank you, everybody. Yeah, yeah, definitely. and again, guys, at the beginning, that was something me and Mandy wanted to go over after a last couple of episodes we have done, and what we were starting to notice, and uh, things where people were coming up and saying, Hey, this was said over here. Hey, this is over here. And it, it it's discouraging, right? When people go out here and they try to do a promo show, I mean, like my feelings aren't going to get hurt. If you don't like it, if you guys don't want to be on, my feelings aren't going to be hurt because I'll probably just do another live stream on my own. But mm -hmm. like if, if a creator's out here trying to do like a promo stream, uh, you don't have to watch it. Nobody's making you watch it. Nobody's making you have to sub to their channel or any of that. You don't even have to go on, but if you do choose to go on, I mean, like, be appreciative that somebody took the time to uh, push somebody else's campaigns other than their own. And uh, I, I mean, I think that's the least anybody can do in this group. Um, if not the most anybody can do in this group is try to go out there and promo more books. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we are. I mean, I mean, I'm at that point. I've been here for about three years where I have to look back and I'm like, what am I doing here? 
you know, of course we <laughs> wear multi. No, I, I'm serious. I, I somebody played a clip the other day and I was, I retweeted it. I'm the only one if, where Ethan was like, this guy, this guy, this guy, come over here. I was the only one in the group that came over here. And, mm-hmm. and the, the, I'm here and uh, for better or worse, obviously better. And I'm happy I'm here. But at the same time, I'm like, what, what am I doing? So I'm like, what? No, I'm like, what am I doing here? I mean, I wear a lot of hats, uh, literally a lot of hats I wear, but sometimes I have to be entertaining. Sometimes I'm fun. Sometimes I'm serious. Sometimes I'm drunk. But A lot of people appreciate you, Shane. A lot of people appreciate you. And there's there's some negative people in the world. And and yeah, it, it sucks. But a lot of people appreciate what you're doing and enjoy what you're doing. But yeah, that, the, the, the but interview you the did on DSS was great. It was like two hours of just listening to your backstory and everything. And we don't yeah. usually get to hear that kind of stuff. So I, I yeah. enjoyed it. it was I, I appreciate that. Here's the thing, though, like between the the guys in CG, between and this is everybody, between the comics we're making and yeah. the YouTube we're doing, we're probably putting out there probably about 70%, <laughs> if not 80% of our life. And there's going to be things that you – like and don't like because i guys not all you guys watching i doubt you're putting out 70 to 80 percent of your life out there in the public you guys have a home life everybody sees you comment right now it's so great all right let me bring up john (laughs) john's comment There. Thanks, Thanks for, for winding up. Shane up before he ended the show. <laughs> I you learned from you, John. Yeah. I learned it from watching you, John. <laughs> Valderez D. Frank for 25 mm-hmm. Mexican uh, post pimp. Wait, pimp my wait, P I M mm-hmm. my comic with Shane plus EVS or solo. Uh, I'm going to do some work. So I don't know if I'll do that. I may do an ink stream because I got a piece I'm trying to ink. I could do an ink stream, but it'll be pretty boring. I uh, share 70, 80 percent of my life with Shane Davis via DMs. That's true. But no, seriously, if you <laughs> if you're buying a book from somebody on on in Comicsgate and they're YouTubing, you're probably seeing about like so much of their life either on paper or on stream and like. You can't please everybody, and I'm not. I'm not here to pretend like I am here to please everybody because I'm not. And if somebody out there is trying to be the perfect, I, I'm making everybody happy. You're looking at a liar, like they're they're putting on a fake version of themselves. So like they'll, I'm genuine. And that's it. You don't like it. You don't like the show. Well, okay. It's, it's I don't really for, care. For Shane, it's not for Shane to please Yonzi, you know, let alone any of us. I'm about to go upstairs and have the same conversation with her. She's getting it next. So you guys, don't worry. You're just, you're just practicing it on us. <laughs> this is out. just a warm up. This is you, you, a bit with you guys to see how yeah. it goes. It give you the moral you courage to go upstairs and work to set her straight. Yeah, Lucy. Mm-hmm. I'm trusting going. from my chat that my this will go over really well with her. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm taking you guys with the lols like i'm sure she'll lol at me all night oh yeah definitely <laughs> yeah yeah uh feedback they say uh mommy should do post pimp that's not hmm. shane is very pleasing that sounds that's dirty that. hmm. she tried to get you in trouble <laughs> dropping wow. stuff like that mm-hmm. <laughs> i don't know she could be a home wrecker i don't know i don't know about that all right if you guys will i'm just gonna play some fun outros i want to thank everybody for uh being in here no need to hang around uh patrick i'll catch up with you in a minute though uh, and i will catch you guys later i want to thank everybody for being on please go back these books please put out there their links let people know they exist and uh that's that's the power of the movement right guys get yes. a wrench scream if you have to Get the word out there, and uh, we will catch you guys again with another video. Excuse me, LOL. There we go. Thank All you, right. CG. I appreciate you. Thank you, you CG. Yes. CG strong. All Hail right. the chat. Hail the Hail chat. The chat. Hail, CG. Hail the chat.